stay behind us, right? What? I don't think no card is really large. What? I think that no card looks really large in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, no, I just said they were no card. I don't worry about that. No, I do worry because um, there, there were very specific rules. You have nothing to worry about on this one. Well, what? then let me have it. Mm -mm. You don't have to put it in my pocket. Mm -mm. You're not going to want to read it. I don't want to read it. I just want you to put it over here. Okay. I'm not going to read it. <laughs> okay. I'm not ready yet. Okay. Are you recording? Yeah, but it's been a bad thing. I'll just edit the video. Just give me a sec. Uh -huh. I gotta prepare myself, and y'all should prepare yourself too. You're about to go through a freaking uh, buckle up, chuckle fox. We're about to get cool. fucked over here, but that's not the literal See intro. Don't See. See what time it is? Yeah, I got 10 minutes. Huh? I got 10 minutes till class is over. Well, I got 7 minutes for the speech. You have between 5 and 7 minutes for this speech. Yeah, there's 10 minutes till class is over. Okay. Hi, everybody. As we all know, 9-11 was the worst terrorist attack in American history. Planes, two of them specifically, hit the World Trade Center, which is two towers. And what else has planes? Air raid. No, River Raiders, which is an Atari game. The Atari 2600 came out on September 11th, 1977, and is one of the first gaming systems ever to come out. And unlike September 11th of 2001, this is one of the only probably. I, this is one of the only good 9/11s to probably ever happen in the world. Unless I guess you were born, but as long as it wasn't in 2001, you're good! So today, since obviously this thing is at this point ancient technology, I'm going to teach you guys how to take it apart, how I would clean it to make sure it works and fixes properly, and how to put it back together, which is very simple. So first, obviously, you're going to need your Atari 2600. In this case, I made sure that the Atari Gaming Center thing is facing this way just to show off. But in reality, the Atari is facing this direction. Oh boy, it's the Atari. I know, it's really cool, right? I know, I can be so nice with it. And I actually now wonder if I have River Raiders on here. I think I do. What you're going to need is your handy dandy screwdriver. Not from Handy Mandy, though. Nobody likes Handy Mandy. And obviously you're going to need your official Atari joystick to go make sure that your game works and everything that you possibly need from there, which obviously is a little too expensive, but that's what online is for, isn't it? So if you'll excuse me, Miss Harper said that I need to do something. So I'm going to put that right over there so we can all see what I'm supposed to be doing from over here. I don't know how to set this up. I'm going to make the assumption it's this thing. That's not it. Turn on the timer. Oh, I just have to turn it on. Ladybug. Oh, nice. How much did the light on? You're going to need the light on. You're going to need the light on. It is on. Oh, there we go. Oh, boy, I'm going to need to zoom it out a little bit. Okay. Now, here we go. We got the Atari right here. Now, mine's a little funky because apparently this thing wasn't working good enough for me. Now, I know it's going to look a little funky here. You got your on and off switch, your color black and white. You got your game select and your game reset. It's all channel two and three because can't put it on cable, you have to have it on, but well, you have to have it on cable, but you have to have your cable shut off. Difficulty A and B, and then your controllers. Now what's really funny is that sometimes your port needs to be a little special, like this one is a little broken in my case, and that's why I always had to take it apart. The Atari 2600 has four screws, two over here and two over here. What you have to do is take a handy-handy screwdriver and screw it. 
thankfully my screwdriver is a little magnetic and if it works for me, the screwdriver will take the screw right out. There are going to be two separate, let me back this up a little bit, there are going to be two separate size screws, so you got to make sure that you keep those a little by themselves separated from the rest of them. you got to make sure you don't put them in the wrong spot or your Atari 2600 isn't going to be put back together the proper way. Now, if the screw would just like me to come out, that would be great. Come on. Well, I'll wait on that one if it doesn't want to be cooperative. What I do is because I've taken this thing apart way too many times at this point, is I genuinely just flip it over and have the screws just fall out by themselves. Don't do that unless you honestly have done this as many times as I have because you get so annoyed with the console that you just want to kill it sometimes. So here's what I do then. I end up flipping it over. As you can see, we have multiple different size screws. We got those two and we got these two. Obviously your longer screws are the ones that are over here because that's the one that is mostly not holding everything together but also slightly is. It's not connected to the circuit board and that's the difference. Now if only it would be more cooperative for me. And if anybody is curious, it does say to call the toll-free number for the support service. I actually did. It does not work. The teleprompter now. <laughs> I tried. I was all like, man, I wonder if they can help me. But they won't. And there's the screw. Gotta make sure your screws are separate. Put your handy -dandy screwdriver down. And here's where the fun begins. Now, we're going to take it apart. So, here's the bottom of it. Here's where your first two screws go, and there's where your second two screws go. And then, I'm going to move this out of the way, because that's just the bottom of it. And as we all see, here's the top. And now we're about to mess with you. Got the top. And oh my god, it's just a circuit board. This is the back of the circuit board, and as you know, this is the top. I found out that when I first took it apart, that this part is the color swatch. Come on. Yep, there it is. Okay, it goes back and forth that way. Yep. I found that out because I was like, why doesn't my color thing work? And it just wasn't working. I also found out that this one specifically needs to be standing up for it to work because apparently some of the wires isn't aren't good in there. So now that you've taken it apart, what you do now is what I did, is I actually took like a Clorox wipe, which may not be the smartest thing, but a little bit smart in my case, and I wiped, it every, I wiped everything down, made sure there was no water or corrosion in it. Got like a little can of air, and I sprayed in here. don't want to put too much air in there, because I don't want it to get a little wet, because the can tends to get cold. Now that you've officially slightly cleaned it out enough, and in case your Atari is as old, obviously, as it should be, because... I don't think that anybody here is watching this video in 1977 since this is on YouTube at this point. You're going to see that there's like a little corrosion in there. You're going to see that there's a little corrosion in there as you can kind of see. It looks a little shiny. That's just corrosion of the, the copper in general. And it's okay. You don't need to scrape it off. So now that you've taken it off and you've officially cleaned it as you should, what you're going to want to do first is you're going to literally have to put it back in, which is the hard part, because you got to make sure that you line these up over here. Put everything over here, and then make sure that your switches also line up with it to make sure everything goes in like, like so. And then you're going to put it back up. Then you're going to actually I'm going to flip it over, because I think it's going to be just a bit easy. I'll flip it over. Make sure you got your long screws on the bottom, little screws in the top. Look, it's gonna stop you here in eight minutes. And then you're gonna screw it back in. Thank you. And that's how you take apart an Atari 2600 and clean it.